presence of iron oxides here has drawn a lot of interest from geologists around the world who are very interested in the environment at the time that these rocks were deposited almost three and a half billion years ago. Iron oxides uh, form, one way that they can form is if you have oxygen around to oxidize the iron, to turn the iron into that bright uh, red rust-like material. Some people have argued, therefore, that the red color here actually represents um, uh, the presence of oxygen in the environment that these rocks formed at the time that they were deposited, um, which is substantially before most of the other banded iron formations in this area. Uh, that's one possibility, and that's a pretty controversial suggestion because it's thought that these rocks formed in fairly deep water. So the implication would be that you had oxygen fairly deep in the ocean uh, three and a half billion years ago. So not just traces of oxygen, but potentially large amounts of oxygen. On the other hand, it's possible that uh, the oxidation uh, wasn't what we call primary. It didn't happen originally when these rocks were deposited, but occurred later. That later uh, hot fluids passing through here uh, and other processes caused the iron that was in these rocks to oxidize and become bright red. So there's been quite a lot of debate about whether the oxidation here is, is primary to the rock, original to the, to, to the sediments when they were laid down before they became lithified, before it became rock, uh, or uh, were oxidized much later. There's also debate about how much oxygen you, do, you would actually need to make these um, bright red bands at the time of deposition. Maybe they are primary, maybe they, it really was iron oxide originally, but maybe it only took tiny amounts of oxygen, so little that it, it doesn't really change our, our general perception of the first half of Earth's history as being a very oxygen-poor environment. So there's been a lot of debate and controversy about these rocks. They're somewhat enigmatic, um, uh, but they're very beautiful and very accessible, and so draw the attention of geoscientists from around the world.